is my wife. I'm her husband. Liz already had some uh, foundation about uh, world vision, right? Because you did something in your teens. What was that? Yeah, I, w I went to their office and helped them enter data of the people who were sponsoring. Um, yeah, I was in Poly then. So I know about world vision and I knew back then, I knew that they had this child sponsorship program. Mm. And then uh, when we got married, uh, she came up with the idea that instead of a uh, uh, for Christmas, instead of getting stuff, how about we give something to someone, somewhere? And uh, World Vision was the first thing that came up in the mind and we thought of sponsoring a child. And then we started doing that. Mm. And that's how we started. Yeah. We grew up from a very poor family. Uh, in a poor family, sorry. Grew up in a poor family and we always would finish our food because we didn't know if we would get another meal. And our parents would tell us that, finish up the food, don't waste it. And to that end, Melissa and I also have uh, continued that philosophy. We told our children when they were little that you have to finish the food because there are children elsewhere in the world uh, who are not eating enough or don't have at all anything to eat. And I've shown them pictures of children dying of starvation. They call me cruel or whatever, but I had to dangle that thing and show them, look, this is a picture of a child that just died, not because of a disease or an attack, but just pure hunger, just like that. And I said, now you tell me if you want to raise your food. And my child goes, like, oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't know. And I think the 77% need to know about this. Maybe there should be an, an, an education a program or a fine, which I think some people are doing in buffet, in buffet restaurants now. They tell you that if we weigh your leftovers and it's more than 100 grams, you have to pay it now. The I say we should charge them $1 million. Because these people are, are taking things for granted and it's not fair. It really is not fair for them to throw the food around and another child somewhere else is just could have saved the entire village with that leftover. That every child has an equal chance for education, every child is healthy, every child is protected, every child is blessed, every child is fed properly um, and uh, every child is given the equal chance to to reach its full attention, uh, potential um, because you never know what a child can, can become and uh, if we provide the proper environment and channels and all that then we really can see that, that miracle growing up before very eyes. If you started off early then you know you can build on the foundation so yeah, to start with the children. There's always hope you can start with the children.